So how many of you like a good story? Like one of the things that impresses me the most about some of the paleo plots that I tour is that a lot of them have a backstory to them. They have character, right? This next one is no exception. Now, I mean, I, I haven't seen this in person, but what I'd like to do is just kind of get some of the uh, the highlights of it beforehand. And we're about to go see uh, Trey Kors Plot, who happens to be a senior delegate, thank you, and is able to book tour ahead of everybody else. If you're interested in becoming a senior delegate and booking a full tour with me, since I'm booked out for quite a while, uh, check out my join, my join link in the description. Uh, but this, plot has basically been born out of all of the lore about the order right the the level five quests and tricor absolutely loves like secret organizations me too i do too they're they're kind of fun they're kind of fun as far as like storyline goes and uh you know i could have sworn that she mined all of the iron out of bahari i mean you know i asked hadari and he was like yep yeah that's yeah that sounds about all right but uh, as far as, you know, design styles go, right, one of the, the interesting ones, uh, a part of the House of U, uh, is Eclecticor. Tracor is definitely Eclecticor. And when I asked her about it, uh, she, she told me... She told me that she loves themes and stories. And there's a lot of you that, you know, that, that rings true, right? So to tell that story, to tell those... Uh, to portray those themes... Sometimes you just kind of have to bend the design a little bit to your will. And that's a big part of Eclecticor, is being able to apply uh, different design styles to accomplish your goal. So without further ado, don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up. I'll see you here shortly. Let's go check it out. So I'm here with Tracor Dryth Dragon. All the stuff that, that you heard before. We're about to get proven. Tracor, how you doing? I'm doing great. Awesome. I I already have a good feeling about this. I have enjoyed so much how creative people have been with the different landscapes, how it just, it really has changed so much. But enough of this pomp and circumstance. You're my tour guide. Where are we going? All right, we're going to head in. Uh, welcome to the Order's Stronghold. Uh, this is a secret location for the Order, uh, both a research facility and a place for roving watchers from all over uh, Kilima Valley to stop in and get some respite, uh, restock their supplies, uh, have some meetings. So watchers like Sabira, as well as Order leadership, we're going to head straight on in to the meeting hall. I didn't know that I uh, I was given clearance to this this build before yeah. arriving here. I must this have gotten that in my very, mail. Yeah, uh, confidential, but uh, we trust you. Oh, yeah. If you know, you know, right? <laughs> I dig it, though. This is really, really awesome execution. Uh, just it has a, it has an air of authority to it. For sure. And our our main meeting hall here, so you can uh, listen to lectures from up on the dais from leadership. Oh. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and continue up the stairs first. Nice. I love the the colors and the fires. Just uh, peeking out over the railing like that is, man, that's epic. That's some cool stuff. Oh yes, nice framing here. Nice framing. That's really of course, neat. one of our most uh, decorated watchers, Severa. Uh, and into our forbidden library. Ooh, full of secret tomes. These have been confiscated from all over Palea. Oh my gosh. I know. I know we're playing Palea, but why do I also feel like I'm playing Assassin's Creed today? <laughs> Uh, some this places one, for people to study this one totally like it you know <laughs> it has some secret writing that can only be brought out by heat my imagination is just going wild Ooh, oh here we are gonna head up into the attic nice 
the engineering behind these sorts of things is just so wild because it when I look at it, I was like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna walk up that? But it works, works so well. <gasps> Ooh, oh, hey now, this is oh my gosh. Uh the order does need to stock uh, funds some places. So we have our treasure room hidden behind the false wall. Ah, oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. That is a proper vault, too. Gilded and everything. Yes, very securely hidden. Uh, we left the door open for you, but it, it of course, can lock uh, quite solidly. I imagine so. And the combination has to be super wild, too. Yes, definitely. I felt like I needed like a like a handshake and like a knock pattern to walk in here, you know? Just to, just on the property itself. It's uh, very well hidden up here in Kilima Heights. Yeah, totally. Secluded, isolated. You'll see why in a moment. All right, I'm coming back downstairs to meet you. So I'm in the main the main hall. Uh, which direction? I lost you. Where are we going? Did I lose you, lose you? I think I lose you. I'm downstairs in the uh, meeting room. Oh my gosh. All I see is a shadow. <gasps> yeah. You've gone. You've disappeared. You've become a ghost. Here. Awesome. That's we awesome. Are... <laughs> You've activated your cloaking device. <laughs> this story has gone to 11. We're going to go uh, to the room that's on the left if you are uh, just walked in the door. Um, I'm so tickled right now. This is amazing. Oh, there. I can see you now. Thank you. Oh. All right. So this is our runestone production facility. Ooh. Uh, so if you're up on the lore, one of the little tidbits that got dropped is order members use rune-inscribed flowstones. Uh, nice. to do some of their magic. So yeah. this is our production workshop for creating those stones. I I always appreciate people that uh, dive deeply into the lore. Um, I, oh, there you are. You've, you've deactivated your cloaking device. I can see you now. Uh, I, I really appreciate that because you know, it it is a fascinating story. And when I first saw, you know, Sabira, I think in in the little cutscene, I was just like, wait a minute, how does she have Jedi mind powers and I don't? Well, that explains it now. Using some fancy stones. Yes. And of course the rare uh gems are more important to inscribe so we have our microscope here for oh yeah doing those rune etchings nice as well as producing other material and things for order members yes order order stuff and things <laughs> they also make gift shop items here This is just epic. I, I love how you've just you've totally handled the lighting, especially the blue candles. Ah, oh, so we're cool. actually going to go out this other side first. Perfect. I was kind of hoping so, we'd go over here because this is a hell of a little banquet hall. Yep. The dining Complete. hall. Got to keep the, the troops fed. Yeah. Got to have those money cakes, too. Money cakes and money pies. It's like, we got more money than we know what to deal with, so let's make more cakes. All important nice. coffee machine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this gotta is how, coffee. how coffee, caffeine gets turned into business. Ooh, nice mix. That's really interesting. Um, so I've, I've seen some, I've seen some glitching in my day, but the fact that you got this here, that, 
with the oven and this uh, capital sheet table, it looks like a proper trivet. So that's cool. That was a good look. Come on, Paleo. Singularity 6, we need some trivets. Let's go. And just a tiny bathroom. Hey, you know what? It's important. It's important. I don't know why that, that tickles me so much, you know, when I'm doing tours and stuff like that. It's just kind of like, hey, play the time under tradition of hide the toilet. It's important. I mean, you know. Uh, as I said, this is also a place for watchers to get some R&R. &R. So we have a rec center. Oh, this ooh. is a place for the watchers to relax. Oh, yeah, they got the good drinks. They got some bowling. Grab grab a hot dog off the grill. Oh, hey. Now, this, I I really, really love this design. Uh, the poles with this, the, the fire and stuff. Like, I mean, that is a proper grill. That is a proper grill. That's really cool. I like that. I like the outdoor kitchen. Uh, Outdoor There's kitchen aesthetic. Good grill lines on those. Uh, I ducks. know, I know. As a and of course, uh, creator of carnivorous creations myself, I I appreciate that. Thank you. And of course, we have a lot of uh, chili oil dumplings because everyone knows they're the uh, favorite focus food. Oh yeah. Um, That's because they wake your ass up. <laughs> at a practice range, got to keep your skills sharp. I like that this has multiple levels to it. Uh, you really executed this quite well with not just the, the bullseye targets, but you got bottles, you have like different difficulties and stuff. You know? Man, we need some more targets in Palea. Yes. Like make, you know, make all of these bottles destroyable. That would be awesome. That would be That's hilarious. I'd easy love that. way, easy way to get back your asset cap. Just go shooting mm -hmm. bottles. Also, in with the recreation, if we follow our little path back behind, ooh, to our fun structure here. Fun structure. Shut up! Is this a bouncy castle? It's a bathhouse. That's spa about that. and I... sauna. <laughs> this is rich. I dig this a lot. Plenty of room for lots of people. You got all Good. the different layers. That's nice. Insignias. and fans to make sure you get that uh, sauna feel. Hot totally. steam everywhere. I can feel my pores opening as we speak. The little magic lanterns. I knew it wasn't a bouncy castle. I'm, I'm, this is way better than a bouncy castle. So in addition to research on glowstones, I have to be researching flow itself. Nice. So we have a few places to commune with flow through the flow trees. That's awesome. Excellent use of the flower choices here too and how you've stacked the bugs and the lamps on the bowls. I just, I love yeah. that look. It's a good look. I make for a fun lighted path, especially at night. Oh yeah, yeah. And here is our second research facility. Oh, now I've- To research plants and animals and bugs and the effect of flow on them. Ooh. This is really neat. Uh, since anytime we get new, anytime we get new items in Palea, it fascinates me how people uh, incorporate them into their styles. And you know, when we got this this conservatory, 
it's always kind of fascinating, like what, what people apply, like how people apply their design to it. Cause in your case, right, you made it a, a study study area and sometimes people also, they, they take the concept and they just, they go a completely different direction. It's like, eh, I don't want to make it this. I want to make it something else. But I really like this, especially with the the big pretty tree. You've got flowers around it. Yeah, that's to hide how I got it in here. <laughs> hey, no, it's it's okay. I mean, people appreciate creativity in, in that regard, right? But in in this case, as you have proven throughout the the tour so far, you have a story behind it, and that story brings purpose and you're able to communicate that story through your design, which is pretty neat stuff. Yeah. So we're studying flow. And we have some additional areas to just commune with the flow. This is beautiful. I love all of the the flowers that you've chosen again. I know I've already said it, but I'm going to say it again because it just it looks magical. It really does. This is a proper campus. Like, that's that's the first word that comes to mind. It's a proper campus. I feel like, you know, gifted order members can come out here and, like you said, commune with Flo and have some beer while they're at it. And if you really want to commune with the Flo... Uh-oh. Uh... We do have a little path out to Bahari here as well. Just a short little path to get to the Bahari door. Mostly so I could remember where it is. And that's yes. in a different place on every landscape. Yeah, but you know what's fun about that, though? And I, I've talked with LA about it, is as we have gotten these new landscapes and as Singularity 6 has mixed up the location, right? We were, for the longest time, just used to north of the plot, south of the plot, Kilima Bahari, right? But the mm -hmm. fact that they're in different corners of the plot, it changes our design. And I love that. I love that you have a, a dedicated path out to Bahari that way. So now we're um, going to go up. So above the garden. Ooh. We have the tree house. There are a few sitting areas on this lower level, and then you do have to walk through the tree. There's a ramp. Like walk straight. There is a ramp up. All right. There. There's the ramp. Ooh. Again, as a spot to commune with the flow around you. Wow. To appreciate the flow trees, you could even sleep up here under the stars. Wow. And flowers. That's lovely. And, and really get your connection to Palea reset. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish that we'll eventually get like a, uh, a way to actually lay down, you know, because one of the things that's just lovely about Paley is people that create these beautiful spaces like you did, you can't really use them in a, in a sense, right? I mean, you can sit down mm -hmm. on a chair, but like, I feel like you can't just, when you sit down on the chair, let's be honest, it looks awkward, like you're in trouble. <laughs> it does. It does. So, you know, I, I hope one day that um, we have some, some like emotes or, or something like that when we sit down on chairs and and lay down on beds and stuff like that that we get to enjoy our spaces just a a little bit more just to be able to chill and listen to the sounds and because i mean let's be honest everybody we all live busy complex lives and paleo for many people is an escape it's a beautiful cozy escape it is and of course we've got all the butterflies everywhere to Yeah, like I said, oh. this is a proper campus. I mean, you really can see like a whole lot of people uh, hanging out here. Obviously, they are, you know, deployed at the moment. 
They're out. Yeah, everyone's out on their patrols. Yeah. So you picked a, a perfect window to have have me out. That way, you know, I don't see anything. I shouldn't be active busyness. A little porch just to enjoy the view. Ah. Oh. And what a view it is. That's a that's a overlook right there. That's it cool. is. And into the two rooms, we're going to go left first. This is the VIP suite. Ooh, very important palings. <laughs> nice. They get a private bath. I mean, that's pretty VIP, if you ask me. That's clever. OK, so I'm just going to point this out. Uh, so how you have the poles and then you set one pole on top of the block, it adds a different height to it, but you know, I mean, it's a, it's a good design trick, right? It makes it seem like one is a half and one is a full, or maybe even like a one and a half length, but that's, that's cool. That's cool execution. Thank you. Yeah, of course. I had fun designing the space. And it shows. It shows with the the story and, and how you've put it all together. Yeah, I wanted this one to look very much like a hotel room. Like it's it's very clean, it's very empty. Um so Yeah. Not not as much clutter as I would maybe normally put in a space. <laughs> not s lots of uh lots of character too. Like it, it, it does feel very themed. Nice We're going to go on the other side before we look in the middle. <laughs> okay, roger that. Stay on target. So this is Subira's room. Oh, yes. As our resident watcher in charge of Kilima Valley. Uh, she has her own suite. You think she enjoys her assignment? Work. I think she's come to enjoy it. That's good. She certainly uh, made some friends, even perhaps started a romance. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> nice. You have a straight, you got a <laughs> bath bomb in there. I love it. That's a, that's a, a wonderful bomb. touch. So I got a, I got a question for you. I mean, we're going to do Q&A here in just a minute, which is wonderful. My favorite part of our tour is just to kind of get to know you and get to know more about the design. But my question just for right now is, what do you think this room smells like? I think it smells like sage. Sage. Nice. Yeah. Sage wisdom. All right. And then finally, in the middle above our little pond, and uh, we do have frog birds in the pond. Of course. He's over here. Wouldn't be complete without a frog, frog Robert. Robert. <laughs> yep. And a few glowing uh, bugs. Ah. Oh. We're at that perfect time to just to start capturing all of the glow. Everything. I'm excited to go and see that. Nice yeah, little but, uh, Obviously, ramps. we... Uh, do need to take advantage of being in Kilima Heights to uh, have a place to keep an eye on things. Yes. What would a watcher station be without a watcher station? Yes, without a watchtower. So this That's is the watchtower. Awesome. That's awesome. Wow. Let's sit, keep an eye on things. Well done. You even got a notebook, too. You got a mm -hmm. log here. You can keep track of who shows up when. Yep. That's awesome. Super cool. Keep eye on everything. Yeah. I like how you put this up. Like, just kind of how you have certain areas uh, where you walk through the tree a couple times. Like, it's very well uh, guided, right? You know, I'm, I'm able to walk up here without 
falling down and breaking my neck or anything. Yeah, it does have a, f a number of lanterns to kind of serve as guideposts. Yeah, that's that's excellent. All right. Uh, that is the plot. Oh, let's go it check is a out wonderful time. It is. But yeah, this is walking through the the path at dark is is fun. Oh yeah, here we go. Man, this feels like uh, I I know uh, it's gonna be an interesting word that I'm about to use, but. It feels like Christmas, like a like a, a light, like you're walking in a park and you got like a, a really cool, vibrant light show. You got all the colors and, and glows and everything. It's it. I think that you totally nailed your story. That's awesome. Very mystical. Very, very cool. It is Special. at capacity, so I can't add anything more. <laughs> oh, yeah. Perfect. Q&A time. Let's get the deets, shall we? So I like to use like the first part of this to, to really cover all of the things that I enjoyed. And, and there's just there's so much. Um, one of the first things I think is the story. You took all of the elements of Paleon design and you applied it to your story. And I, I think that is like one of the one of the best things that you can do to give a plot character, because otherwise it's just a bunch of items, right? Just a bunch of mm -hmm. items and angles. Um, so when you do stuff like that, that 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 really elevates it. And secondly, I love all the lighting that you chose, the the flowers that you chose, especially the patterns. I especially love, you know, the creative uh, sauna and my goodness, everything inside just it it feels it feels like it has a, a big air of authority, you know? Um, places like this, when you walk in there, even if you belong, even if you have all of the rights and privileges, when you step into a place like that for the first time, you know, it it, it almost... <laughs> I felt imposter syndrome coming in here, not gonna lie. I was like, man, I don't belong here. I don't find, I don't have the credentials, you know, but... It was it was really cool. I, I really appreciate that. I think probably my first question though, one of the the first questions that I'll I'll ask is gonna be what was it about the order that attracted you the most? I like the type of lore where it's like everything looks good and cozy but there's things going on behind the scenes that are a little darker oh yes so the whole thing about that you get when you first meet all the npcs and characters they're very welcoming this is very nice everybody's very nice oh we might have a little bit of an authoritarian government. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just yeah, it ain't no big deal, right? Wait, what do you mean authoritarian government? <laughs> um, it's you know, when you're talking to Clary and you know, uh, cat. There's books that are banned. It's fine. Um, she's maybe not as fine at it once you get to know her a little better. Um. Uh, about the fact that there's definitely books that are banned. There's definitely suppressed information. Um, yeah. And, I... and then when you... The the things you later learn from Ashura about how other things have gone down, um, uh, about the, the Order's war with the cartel. So on the one hand, they are fighting against this kind of mafia organization. But... Like where you know when are they gonna uh like where is the story gonna go next you know like that's that also is just kind of fascinating because people that have really gotten deep into the lore like like you have it it impresses me and I I also I also just kind of like a uh, dystopian <laughs> dystopian society stories and stuff like that. Because it's just like you said, it's like it appears like it's all nice and, you know, like they're talking to you like Kilimanice and Bahari nice, right? 
Paleo nice, however you want to say. Uh, but you know, like you said, there's there's a whole lot of stuff underneath the the surface that uh, the the drivings of you know politics and everything. So that's just uh, that's that's cool stuff. Cool stuff. What would you say would be like the most difficult part of your plot to decorate? Um, the the bathhouse went through like three or four iterations. Mm, yeah. Um, before I got it the way I wanted it to. Um, and the treehouse too went through a bunch of different iterations. It originally had a roof, and then I was like, no. I think it's it's better to have the open air and just be up in the stars and yeah, um, it really it really was cool. It really was cool that you know you you had this idea and you using the elements of Palea made it made it happen. Uh, I think that is one of the things that people people struggle with sometimes to to look at videos like this and to look at, you know, now that we have the tour board, look at these things and, uh, and it's like, how do, how do people do this? How do people pull this stuff off? Well, I'll let you all know right now that everybody started out with the same tent. It takes time. So don't worry about it. Don't hate yeah, Eric. So. <laughs> there are definitely a few red presents in here yeah um, I, I you got some engineering stuff going on some tricks che little paleo magic yeah cheesing the game as they say another way of saying that um uh, then my last question uh is is gonna be around i guess well uh, let's let's do let's do more of a standard question right you have this build this build is awesome. You you've created this this campus for the order, and you have a lot of the design elements that communicate that, even with different uh different furniture styles, uh, and different colors and different elements and stuff that you that you put in. What do you think is going to be a furniture set that you would like to experiment with next? that perhaps may not exist in the game. Did I lose you? That's hard. <laughs> um... <sighs> Uh, I can rephrase. That's hard. That's given your hard. knowledge, given your knowledge of the lore, right? You've created yeah. the order. So, if you were to create a different side of the lore, right, an element from a different side of the lore, maybe that could help. You know, figure out what kind of furniture style you'd like to see. I mean, I would like to see more from we've we've gotten teased a bunch of times about this other culture, Umbra, which mm -hmm. is underground. Ooh. And I'm really interested to see like what does that do to their stuff, to their design, to what they have. What is this cave society look like i would love to see more about them because we've just gotten little bits about umbra um and the umbral culture and it's a whole different country than than palea come to find out so yeah i'd love to see more with them it's gonna be interesting to see you know as they start when you get all the game stuff out of the way and the mechanics and stuff that they're planning on adding in the in the items you know it's gonna be interesting to see where they take the story and how they're going to expand the game because right now we only have two places we can go yes i we've we've had the elder woods teased a bunch of times i would really love to see the elder woods yeah um, yeah are they big are they small i mean it would be kind of disappointing if we go to the elder woods and they're just a bunch of bushes so i'm hoping for very treehousey 
Yeah, of course. Redwoods, perhaps. Yeah. Trees, you know. Yeah, big old trees. Big old trees. Well, Tracor, thank you again so much for for the support. Thank you for inviting me out to this this wonderful plot. Uh, it's it's really really well done, especially just kind of applying the lore as you say to this. Um, I felt like I was stepping into a book. So I hope everybody else feels the same way. And let me know in the comments like what y'all thought about it. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for coming. No, it's my pleasure. And I'll see you all next time. Until then, bye-bye.